Okay, perfect. Um, okay, uh, maybe. Okay, uh, we, uh, I, along with my partners, we uh, investigated the effect of economic, social, and cultural status of students which means the uh, family background of students on the English language learning outcomes. And then we compared the, the different uh, groups of uh, Italian regions. So now I move on. Um, here you can see um, an overview of uh, the contents uh, of uh, the, the presentation. So um, I, there will be a framework on social inequalities in education that we considered on both uh, sociological and psychological sites. Then uh, a leader, um, a brief uh, um, uh, overview of the research areas in which we moved our research uh, investigation. The methodology, the sample, we considered the uh, eighth grade uh, students and uh, then the variables. So we, we uh, use it, use it as variables, uh, the EACS, so the uh, economic, social and cultural status of the students uh, indicator. And then we also uh, considered the, the origin and the gender of the students. Then the analysis, we both performed uh, exploratory analysis and uh, uh, inferential analysis. And then uh, we will discuss the results and the conclusions. So um, I'm, I'm going to start with the um, sociological uh, theories uh, in uh, education uh, inequalities. So uh, let me say that according to the theories to study social and cultural reproduction, uh, social class uh, um, is considered that may uh, that may affect uh, the academic success. And uh, especially if we consider the linguistic resources and the cultural habits that uh, um, they can give to students as an heritage and uh, that they can use to, they can spend to get better results uh, at school. And this is in line with what the Bourdieu in the 70s uh, postulated, uh, comparing uh, upper classes children uh, to uh, working classes children, um, saying that, uh, uh, students from upper classes, they probably uh, possess that set of behaviors that can help them uh, to, uh, to um, improve their, uh, their skills, their abilities, and to get uh, actually um, to do better uh, at school. And um, this is also um, important when it comes to, um, it comes to the um, social and cultural uh, reproduction, to say that uh, uh, it may be affected also by the political, economic and cultural power relation, relations between uh, social classes. Um, uh, regarding the situation in Italy, because uh, uh, we want to point out also what happens in, in Italy um, and uh, the Italian uh, in the Italian context, uh, for sure the analysis of the educational inequalities uh, uh, showed uh, um, how uh, the crisis, for example, uh, um, uh, lead to the um, to uh, the, the, the the financial cuts for the for the school uh, and uh, how the school tried to manage this uh, uh, this, this, this unbalance and uh, um, that was uh, not quite well actually and uh, the school continues to reproduce uh, the gender differences uh, and uh, this actually feeds awareness of gender discrimination within the educational uh, system uh, apparently uh, with the um, research um, show uh, research shows that uh, girls um, are more uh, um, are more uh, driven by greater motivation and the interest to obtain better results compared to boys but uh, um, it also says that uh, um, boys for example are more um, are more sensible to the uh, parental education are more sensible to the family background uh, more than girls uh, which are more uh, self-regulated or uh, uh, have more self-efficacy. Also, recent studies have shown uh, how emotional well-being affects uh, school performance. And this is, uh, will be um, more uh, 
clear uh, in the in the next slide. Um, in fact, uh, um, if we consider the school psychology contributions, uh, one of the most active lines of the res of research in school psychology is uh, um, actually related to the actions to be taken to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion. And this is according to Jimerson et al. Uh, 2021. Um, in fact, uh, to promote this uh, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and these positive, uh, um, positive uh, uh, factors uh, at the school, it is uh, important to uh, improve a positive uh, school climate, uh, which uh, has been seen uh, can reduce the negative impact uh, for that school uh, uh, targeting communities uh, with the high poverty rates, for example. Um, and according to this uh, view uh, of the school, of school psychology, um, school inequalities um, can influence the learning outcomes uh, and uh, it can be uh, important uh, if not uh, quite if not quite essential to promote the the, 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 the positive school uh, school climate but not only this because the school psychologists uh, or school psychology can also promote uh, um, promote motivation or uh, the uh, uh, improve the uh, expectations so and these are um, kind of possible interventions from uh, the uh, from a school psychology um, perspective. So the school psychologist can put it, it himself in the school like a human rights advocate to defend the rights of, uh, of the children. And this is uh, why it's, uh, um, um, it, it, it can be um, uh, um, related to the, 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 the concept of social justice, uh, which is uh, like a challenge now for, uh, for the, school, uh, the school psychology as uh, um, to promote uh, um, rights uh, through the compliance with the provisions of, of the Convention on the Rights of the, of the Child to guarantee the access uh, to permit to all the children to use the resources uh, um, of the society and uh, to ensure respect, uh, to fight the discrimination and to promote the participation and the active involvement of everyone. Um, so, uh, according to these uh, assumptions, uh, our work aims to investigate the influence of the family background uh, on the students, uh, on the invested as performance of English in both reading and uh, listening. So, our idea was to compare the different groups of regions, so the Northwest, the Northeast, Center, South and Southern Islands, and then to compare the changes in the educational gap according to the variable origin and gender. So, for the origin, we consider the, mm, the origin of the student, um, so if uh, the student uh, uh, is Italian or an immigrant, and then the gender, male and female. So um, for the methodology, the sample we used for our analysis uh, was the grade eight students sample. So uh, the students, uh, the students who participated in the, in the Invals English reading and listening test for the school year 2018 and 2019. And then we weighted these, uh, the, the sample data um, for the, to improve the representativeness of the sample. As independent uh, variables, we consider, as I say, the, the ESES, so the economic, social, cultural status of the students, that we, which we divided into four quartile. So um, we uh, created a four level uh, um, variable. So in the first quartile, which is uh, associated to the low status, the second quartile, which is associated to the medium low, the third quartile to the medium high, and the fourth quartile to the high. And then uh, the other two variables, the origin, if the student is negative, or immigrant and even here the variable was uh, um, um, that we created is a two level and uh, in, the, in the second level immigrant is comprehensive of both uh, first generation immigrant and second generation immigrant and then uh, the gender. For the analysis uh, we use the SPSS statistical software so we first of all performed the descriptive analysis um, so we um, compare the different set of regions uh, in the um, English uh, scores, uh, average of the English scores, and then we performed uh, again descriptive analysis to calculate the percentage of the, the percentages of the students uh, in the uh, four uh, quartiles of ESES, and then we compare the, the quartiles, so the status of the students, to the three competency level, a pre A1, A1, and A2, and then uh, we performed uh, a regression analysis. Uh, we applied three three models to uh, investigate the effect of the independent variables on the students' performance. 
So let's have a look at the data. Uh, here uh, you can see uh, the, um, the table uh, reading and listening, and uh, we have uh, the uh, effect actually of uh, um, ESES uh, on the uh, test results. Uh, first of all, we can see that northern regions actually perform better than uh, the southern region. If we look at the first quartile, we have uh, um, as a, an average uh, test score 195, which compared to the 171.2 of uh, um, the results in southern islands, uh, it's higher. So, and the same happened in the other quartiles. Uh, if we go to the fourth quartile, uh, we can see the uh, the same. So, this is the first uh, the first um, the first thing to point out. Then uh, we can also see that the ESES as a, a measure effect, uh, the effect is, uh, um, is a huge in the, in the south, uh, more than uh, in the north. If we look uh, in, at the northwest, for example, we can see that uh, the, in the first quartile, uh, the result is, uh, uh, the number is uh, 195.6, and in the fourth quartile, it's 224.6, which is like uh, 29 points difference. And then, but uh, while in the Southern Islands, we have 171.2 and the 211, which is a nearly 40 uh, points difference. So the different, the, the, the effect of ES, ES in the, in the, in the South is, uh, is, is huge, in, in, it's greater than uh, uh, in, the, in the Northern regions. Same if we compare the Northeast or um, the, the, the South with the South. So, um, and the same happened, actually in the uh, listening, uh, um, in the listening for the listening. So if I move to the next one here, um, okay, this is the, uh, the second exploratory analysis uh, that we applied for each set of regions. So the first uh, is the Northwest and uh, here we divided uh, the, the, the quartiles again and uh, we compared them to the uh, competency level for both uh, reading and listening. Pre-A1 is the um, the, in the basic knowledge that students should, uh, should, should obtain, should they have in the, um, in this, uh, in the eighth grade uh, um, school uh, um, reference, and then A2, which is the expected outcome. Um, you can see here that if we look at reading, in the first quartile, for example, for pre-A1, we have, the, we have a 6 to 0.7% um, of students and uh, uh, in uh, A2, we have on, uh, in A2, we have only 22.6 percent. If we look at the fourth quartile, we can see that we have uh, uh, in pre-A1 7.3 percent, and uh, in uh, A2 27 uh, percent. So we can see that uh, um, when uh, uh, the um, the status, the first quartile, as I said, uh, is uh, uh, representative of the low status and the fourth quartile is the high. So in the middle, we have the medium uh, low and the medium high. And uh, uh, we can see that uh, um, increasing, uh, uh, with increasing uh, uh, of the level of competence uh, uh, in English, the, um, the, 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 the percentage of students uh, uh, tend to, um, um, to, to reduce. So um, we have more students uh, in the, um, in the, um, yeah, we have, uh, um, and uh, um, vice versa, if we look at the fourth quartile, uh, with the uh, increasing uh, level of competence, uh, the, the number of students uh, in the, um, in the, in the high, st high status tends to, 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 to reduce. So, and the, the same happens actually in uh, uh, all the set of regions. As you can see here, the Northeast is the same. So we have 54% uh, uh, of students in the pre-A1 for the first quartile, and we have only 8.2% in the fourth quartile. Um, and uh, the same uh, results uh, we can see also for, uh, uh, for the listening. So same uh, in the center. The, the trend is actually really the same. And the uh, same happens also in the, uh, in the South. 
for example, if we look at the listing here, uh, PA1 in the first quartile, we have a 63. And uh, in the fourth quartile, we have uh, only 9.2%. So, and same in the Southern Islands. The trends is uh, actually the same. Okay, then we performed a regression analysis. We used the standard method uh, ENTER. Um, we applied three models. In the first model, to, um, at one predictor, um, we applied, uh, uh, we consider only, um, we consider ES, ES only. Then in the second model, we added the origin variable. And uh, in the third model, we added the gender. Here are the results. Uh, again, uh, we uh, performed the independent analysis for uh, each uh, set of region. And uh, you can see here um, the R squared and the B uh, value, values. Um, in the, the first model, uh, the variability explained uh, is uh, uh, 11%. And it actually doesn't change if we add, doesn't change too much if the, the models are all significant doesn't change too much if we add the, the origin and the gender actually uh, even if as b value we can see okay the, the, the number is quite uh, in, insignificant but uh, we can see that immigrants perform a little bit a little bit badly than italians in the um, in, uh, in the in the reading but uh, if we look at the listening it, it's uh, uh, they perform quite better and uh, the trend is quite the same uh, in the others, even in the others. Mm. This is the center. Um, yeah, mm, if we look at the uh, air squared, so the, the variability uh, doesn't change too much if we add uh, the origin, the gender. So the ESES uh, explains. Uh, So I want to go to the conclusions. Uh, by concluding, uh, we can say that status inequalities have a stronger impact on the English performances in southern regions compared to the northern region, the new regions, as we say, as we uh, we've seen. And then uh, also that the percentage of students with a low ESES actually decreases with the increasing competency level, and the vice versa, the percentage of students with a higher competency level with the uh, higher ESES uh, increases with the increasing of competency level. So also we can say, we can point out that the variability explained by the regression models is greater in the southern regions uh, compared to the northern regions. And then that or uh, by adding uh, uh, origin and gender variables, uh, it doesn't reduce the variability explained by ESES. And then also that the immigrant status uh, can be an advantage in the English test, which is greater for listening compared to the uh, reading test. And this is probably because they uh, um, they are they um, they already speak uh, another language, so maybe their brain uh, uh, is a uh, um, is uh, um, how to say um, is open to um, to listen another and comprehend a different language. So it's it's quite about the processing of the information of the linguistic information, and uh, then um, that being a female represents an advantage an advantage for both reading and listening tests. Actually, as we've seen in the um, regression analysis. Uh, um, female uh, performed uh, better in uh, all the set of regions. Uh, they get better, they got better results. Okay, uh, and for sure uh, there are limitations in this, uh, uh, in this studies, in this study, in this investigation, uh, because uh, um, we consider the, the data from the, from 2018, 2019 uh, school years. And then, so it would be um, great to, to look what uh, happened after the pandemic uh, to see if uh, anything uh, has changed. 
And then another uh, limitation is that uh, we um, consider the impact of the social, economic, and cultural background of the students, which is uh, uh, measured through the ESES indicator, which is a composite measure. So um, it would be probably uh, good to uh, understand uh, which. Uh, um, which uh, factors uh, are more uh, have more impact uh, on the uh, students' uh, English learning outcomes? If, for example, uh, having uh, resources uh, or having access, uh, um, having internet access, or um, or, or um, if the domestic resources are more uh, have more impact than uh, the uh, the profession or the uh, the, the educational level. Of, of parents. And uh, then another limitation can be that uh, we consider sets of regions, so groups of regions, that will there can probably be difference, differences between uh, uh, different regions or different uh, if, uh, for example, countryside uh, compared to, uh, to the uh, urban areas. So um, these are um, probably um, future, uh, future uh, scenarios and uh, for future uh, investigations. So uh, thank you, I'm, I'm done. Okay, thank you. Thank you for this uh, presentation. Uh, <clears throat> let's think about some questions. In, in the meanwhile, I would like to say that it's some conclusions uh, I, would um, I would expect it, like uh, that the social economic background will um, grab all the variability uh, uh, versus gender or, um, or origin, or the fact that female represent uh, an advantage. Okay, this one also I would expect it. Uh, I would uh, I would have added a, a, maybe uh, another conclusion because uh, uh, looking at the last uh, regression uh, um, slides, uh, the the coefficient for the ESCS in the south and in in the south and island it's uh, fifteen. Uh, yeah, yeah, these slides. That's slide. Comparing to the um, to the north is uh, eleven or ten in the in northeast. So uh, maybe we can say that that it's a strong difference. And it's it's also a matter of equity. If uh, if the social background has more impact on the results in the south, it's it's. I mean, it's not the best. Uh, the best would be that that the social uh, economic background would be the same uh, would have the same impact in on in all the regions uh, so i would i would stress also these uh, these things in the conclusion just a, a suggestion and uh, and maybe you can uh, go deeper in uh, in regions uh, consider that that the the, the invalsi sample is uh, is by region so maybe it could be interesting also to explore it. Are there any questions? Okay. Um, they say me, Anna Malandrino has a question. Yeah. Please go, yeah. go forward. Can I? Thank you. So uh, thanks a lot for this uh, very, very interesting study, Paola and, and all. Um, I was um, uh, wondering uh, what your uh, what your opinion is about the diverging trend that we could notice in the last Invalsi uh, uh, data, in the last Invalsi results data um, for English uh, as a, uh, English as a foreign language compared to the other two surveyed subjects, so um, uh, Italian and mathematics. Uh, my my point is uh, socioeconomic conditions surely impact on uh, uh, English English learning both reading and uh, and listening but uh, from from the data that I uh, saw uh, uh, from the last Invalsi assessment uh, there was not a lot of difference between the south and the north which uh, arguably have different socio-economic uh, situations um, and but but above all uh, my point is that there must be something else that explains variation in English 
learning uh, because if there was no variation diachronically uh, in English learning in primary and middle schools and there was this variation in uh, Italian and mathematics this must be must mean something right um, so I, I don't know if this is actually not not the the, the, the subject of your of your um, study but I was wondering if you or, or, or your co-authors uh, uh, wondered ab about this and uh, 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 can explain or can uh, 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 tentatively uh, try to explain the, uh, the, the diverging trend that we could observe for English learning compared to mathematics and Italian in the last Invalsi assessment. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yes, actually, yes. So um, we consider we started from that actually, and uh, I mean we uh, thought that probably it can be related to the uh, domestic resources of students. Mm. So if they have, uh, as I say, the uh, internet access, access, or if they have, uh, you know, you can find uh, uh, materials to study English everywhere uh, online. So maybe the impact of the ESES is more, uh, um, is higher if we consider the, um, you know, the, 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 the resources that students uh, possess more than uh, the level of uh, education which are uh, the level of education over the profession of the uh, of parents because uh, um um you know for so this was our starting point and uh, we tried to, to to start for the from the the data in, in before the pandemic and during the pandemic they continuously uh, had access to um internet uh, uh, for example or uh, so they they could continue to uh, to use their uh, what they had to do to study English and they're probably also more motivated uh, to study English uh, than uh, other uh, or to improve their English more than other uh, subjects like uh, Italian or mathematics um, I, I don't know, but uh, this is actually a topic that uh, can be uh, more uh, uh, investigated uh, in, uh, in the future, so it can be open. Thanks a lot. Welcome. Thank you, Paola Delia. I don't know if there are any other questions. Uh, yeah. Uh, good morning. I've got a question regarding the results of the children of immigrants or oh, family that uh, are basically immigrants because they seem to be higher than the results in English in reading and listening compared to the children that come from Italian families. And I was wondering if you investigated or if you could do this in the future about the reasons why they are better, because, uh, well, we may think that uh, children of immigrants, maybe they speak English at home, but not all of them, because we know that many of them come from families uh, that come from regions where the mother tongue is French or Spanish, so other languages. So I was simply asking, uh, this, it could be interesting to investigate the reason why they perform better. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sure. It, it's a, a very good question. Actually, uh, that can be a difference in the way they probably um, process the uh, linguistic information uh, because they are uh, um, they have exposure to other languages. So probably their brain is, uh, you know, more um, plastic to receive uh, um, verbal uh, information and to uh, verbal stimuli. Uh, so more than the reading, because this effect is uh, more evident uh, in the uh, listening, uh, more than in the, uh, in, the, um, in the reading. So probably the reading uh, uh, is uh, um, as other, which as, uh, is underlined by other um, brain networks. And it's probably uh, the, the, the probably the the the, the, the way uh, they are they perform uh, um, they are more able to uh, understand listening and uh, perform better in the listening test. So yeah, this is a, a good uh, topic for the future as well. So it's uh, really it's open uh, it opens so so much. Yeah. 
I just want, sorry, I just want to add that if you split, uh, I'm quite confident that if you split uh, by region, as I said before, the, the coefficient for immigrants would be different, uh, significantly oh, different, different. Okay. Okay. Uh, 